Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Renzer with Skyrender Studios, and welcome to Factorial Episode 10. This is the Dolph Lundgren episode, and we've been on a hiatus for a little while. My old rig kind of uh, stopped functioning there properly, so uh, we have the Pixel Punisher now. It's amazing. We'll have the specs in the description if you care about those, and uh, let's get back into it, guys. So I haven't played this map in a while. I haven't played it since the last time we did a tutorial. I have not played one second more on this game, so we're going to go to it, and uh, we're going to get going. So it's tutorial 13? Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah, this is the right one. So this has uh, eight more minutes on it than this other one does. So it looks like this is the, the correct one. Factorial tutorial 13. So we're going to load this up. And I am sick, so I really can't honestly hear myself and how I sound externally from like other people. I can only hear the vibration of my own voice in my head. So uh, I am yeah, it's it's a bit weird, but we're going to get through this. Okay, so looking like uh, we did turrets last time, we've got plenty of ammo and things, and because this is the Dolph Lundgren episode, what I was going to do was uh, we were going to make power armor and weapons and things like that. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to make some uh, weapons and everything real quick. And yeah, I think it's going to be uh, pretty sweet. So let's just get started here. All right, so to get started, what we're going to do is look at our research queue, right? Because we have steel processing here up in our research, but you'll notice very, very quickly that we don't have any uh, labs running right now. This is a lab, obviously, but it's not doing anything. So we're going to take a look at my inventory, and I don't have any science packs, right? So I can make 28 science packs. We're just going to make those. So I just shift left click and make those. And that's primarily because I need a lot of science packs for armor and things. So let's just take a look. Here and okay, so I can make pistols and I can make firearms. So obviously I haven't researched military, right? So let's take a look at steel processing. Let's take a look at what steel processing requires. Uh, okay, so it needs 28 of those and then we're gonna have to do military. Okay, so what this means is I have to get through the stage of, I have to get through the process of getting through steel processing first. Okay, so we have our we have our guys here, and I'm trying to control click them. Oh, right, 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 right. It's because everything's coming over here. That's right. Okay. And because I didn't leave this level just flat out running, uh, what's going on is that uh, this is making ammo as much as it can. And I may actually pause this. Okay, so what you do to stop an assembler, what you do is you click on the assembler and let's say you have a recipe let's say it's magazines right you can click on the assembler and hit this set current recipe button and if you click that and just hit E to get out of the menu now the assembler's there it still functions it's just not doing anything there's it's not demanding any resources and therefore it's not using any resources so I need these steel plates so that's why we're going to let those guys uh, bundle up there. So I'm going to come over here to the lab because it ran out of the science packs pretty fast. We're going to do that. And it looks like I don't have, uh, it looks like I need V-Sync on. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix that real fast. And we did that last time. I un I know we did. And it needs to restart. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're going to... My dog's trying to get my attention. My apologies. Okay. We're just going to zip back to the game real fast. I have to stop start. Okay guys, so we're back after the uh, restart of the game, just to fix my uh, V-Sync issue. Oh yeah, that totally fixed it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're coming over here to the lab, so we can dump the science packs in there. And I have made uh, everything that I can, it appears. Let's see, oh, I can make 20 more, okay. Well, I do have to make a whole pile more, so I'm going to come over here to the chest here. And I'm going to make more science packs. So honestly, the beginning part of this is going to be kind of boring because we have to just keep making science packs and I may actually skip through this a little bit before we did it in real time. So what we're going to do while I'm making science packs, while I'm waiting for this stuff to happen, uh, let's multitask. So it would be great if I was making science packs automatically. It would be great if they were being fed to the labs automatically. So we can start doing that while I'm doing on while I'm working on this research because neither one of those things require me to pull the lab up. They, they don't require me to uh, stop researching currently what I'm doing, which is going to be uh, a big deal. Okay, so 
what we're going to do is look at where can we put a production line. Now we, we would like to put it up here but we've got an oil field here that I want to use. We can't put it over the copper. So uh, pretty much what we're going to have to do is either put it right here, which is what we're going to do. And this screen pops up whenever research is finished. To me, it's actually kind of annoying, but it does help because it says, hey, we're done now. Uh, pick something new. So right away, I'm going to pick uh, military, which is going to be super helpful because that's machine guns. And eventually we'll get to uh, armor. In fact, it might be the next thing after this. I think military 2 is armor, or there might be an armor upgrade. Armor forging, something like that. Excuse me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a few more uh, assembling machines, which means, obviously, I need more iron plates. So now I have iron plates. I can make two assembling machines. That's enough, actually. So if you look at a basic science pack, what it needs is a gear and a copper plate. So with gears, I just take one assembler, I take some plates, I turn them into a gear, and I put those on another transport belt, and then I can do various things with them, right? So, let's see. Alright, so we have probably, okay, yeah, we have plenty of ammo. We have tons of ammo. And that's great. You always want a surplus of ammo. You always do. So when this line starts pulling and these guns start actually expending bullets, then they're going to come from this chest here. So turning off this assembler uh, is not the end of the world. In fact, I can actually tell this assembler to just start making plates. So wh that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this like a multi-purpose assembler for now. So I'm going to tell this to make uh, gears. And what will happen is that those gears will end up in this chest. That's okay. So now I have gears that are being made. And I have copper plates here that I need to put into a chest. And then I will be able to make uh, science packs automatically. And that will be very beneficial for us. Okay, so I have additional science packs. And it looks like the lab might be running out here. Let's just see how many it has three left. We'll just dump those other in there. Okay, so we have... Uh, a surplus of science packs inside the the uh, lab, which is great because we're going to need those for the the further research, especially for military. I think you can go up to military too without having to have level two science packs, but we will find out together. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played this. I played on my own level, but honestly, uh, I've been doing so many things that I simply don't remember. That's that's the short of it, is that I, I just don't remember. Okay, so here's something that's cool. Let's say, okay, cool, we're done with military. We'll get to that in a second. I have a lot of science packs in my queue down here. And maybe I just want to start making other stuff first. What you do is you hold shift and you left click, and it just gets rid of it. Now what you want to do is if you have a thing that has a lot of prereqs, you want to get rid of the thing, not the prereqs. Because I've, getting rid of the thing, the item, the bigger item, gets rid of all the prereqs automatically. So now, I can still go back and make more science packs, which I'd like to. So we're going to do that. But now I have the stuff that I wanted. I have my chest here, because I wanted that. And I've got, I hit shift 2, use shift to hit these guys on that side. I probably explained that a couple times already. And we're going to do just like that guy. And we're going to get ourselves another inserter here. And... Now we're going to start surplusing our copper, and this is really going to help because it allows the line to keep producing. It allows me to keep burning through this deposit over here, and it gives me a surplus. That way I can say, oh, I need to I need to make five of these things right now, and I have to have 100 copper to do that, do that, right? Well, then I can do that. Then I have that surplus. That's great. So now I have gears, and obviously I have copper plates. So now I need to turn them into science packs and then get them over to the lab. You'll notice that we don't have... Oh, we do have advanced logistics. We have logistics here. Good. So we have logistics here, and that will let me run this under there, but I think I'm just going to move where that lab is. Okay, so let's get to what the, the core of the episode is, and that is, of course, uh, awesome, cool military stuff. So... We're going to come over here, and I need plates. I need iron plates is what I need. And this thing is doing a great job of making gears, but what it's also doing is getting rid of all my plates. Because I don't have fast enough iron production, and therefore I have to wait for 
iron plates to happen. So we may just fix that as well. It's, it's about scaling, guys. It really is. It's all about scaling. So where's my stone deposit? And, ah, here it is. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have... Alright, so we have stone for days. I'll just grab one of these. And I don't want to... Let me see if, if I had anything in here. Apparently I had all bricks in there. I don't want to take away from that line because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reposition those eventually. So it doesn't seem very economical that I'm making new furnaces, but it, it will make sense in the end. Okay, so then we're, what we're going to do is I need more iron plates. Okay, so I'll just take what's there. All right, one and then one, two. One and one, two. There we go. So I have my long-handed inserter. And that's going to go just like that. And then I've got this guy. And he's going to be pulling from there, pulling from there. There we go. There we go. And just that fast, now we have, now we have more iron production. Okay, and we're going to go here, one, two, just like that. I think what I'll do is I'll just pull this guy up, and I will put him right I'm standing on that block there. Okay, so now we have a little bit better iron protection, or production, sorry, protection. Iron protection, guys. Remember, always use iron. All right, so there, just like that, and just like that. Alrighty. Run that up. And power pole. Perfect. Okay, so we've scaled up our iron production, and this is great. Now let's do military stuff. Let's make guns. Okay, so we're going to build a machine gun because you'll look at the shooting speed. This is uh, 6 per second, and this is 15 per second. More bullets, more damage. Same range. If you look at the range there, you'll see that the range is the same. But, of course, the requirement for materials is higher. So we're going to build a machine gun. And it's actually quite fast, it's just a bunch of gears, and we've got our gun there. It takes a little bit longer to make that, a couple seconds. And now I have a machine gun. What I'm going to do, to make sure I'm always using the machine gun, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to put it where the pistol was, and I'm going to swap them. So now I have a machine gun and 100. 100 mags. So if you hit spacebar, which is the fire of the gun, nothing happens, right? I'm smacking the space bar right now. You can probably hear it. Nothing is happening. And that's because uh, it's great because you won't waste bullets. The system will only let you, as far as I know, it may be different with rockets. So I'm going to stick with pistols and machine guns now, just so, this, just so this statement is accurate. With pistols and machine guns, as far as I know, you can only shoot the weapon when there's something in range that you can hit. For example, one of the natives, because this is their home. And uh, you can shoot them if you want. Just keep smacking this. Or actually, you press and hold the space bar when you're near them. If you have a gun down there just like that, and you have ammunition for said gun, you can do that. But you know what's cool? You know what's cooler than a machine gun? A shotgun. And my dog is talking to me. And a shotgun. So we're going to make a shotgun. But if you want to build a shotgun, that's great. It doesn't use machine gun ammo. It uses shotgun shells. So we're going to go one, two, three, and right-click a couple times. Because the damage on these guys, pretty high. Pretty high. And for shotgun shells, you get ten shots per mag. Which is sweet. And eventually you get rockets, and that's all kinds of cool. All right, so let's research more military stuff. So you have military two, which does require the next level of science kits. So we'll get to that. But you get grenades, which are sweet. Nades are awesome. And armor-piercing rounds. Mags of armor-piercing rounds. More damage, more better awesome stuff. So you gotta have that, right? Well, we can increase bullet damage. That's pretty sweet. We can in increase the speed of shooting things. And defender robots. And just the shooting speed of things. Sweet. You can even increase shotgun shell damage individually. There's even a gun turret damage. But boom, armor, freaking crafting, research. This is going to be sweet. We're going to have armor. It's going to be awesome. We're going to come over here to our lab. And it has enough. I'll give it the rest. 
and has enough to research our armor. This is going to be sweet, guys. We're going to be rolling around, all looking all buff and sweet and everything, to quote Cartman. And we're going to be looking all ripped and sweet with our, our armor and our shoddy there, which I, you'll notice down here in the bottom right where you've got your shotgun there, and you also have your shotgun shells, so you know that you have ammo for the shoddy. How do I switch between those weapons? Automa I don't know. I don't know what the hotkey is, honestly. I ser Let's look at the hotkey. Let's look at the hotkey if, if I know. Let's see. Shoot selected. Oh, sh snap! You can shoot things if you hit C. That, I didn't want to do, I just almost broke something, and I almost swore, too. Alright, uh, get rid of that. I need to make my repair kit. I'm, I'm sorry, little inserter. You didn't do anything to deserve that. Holy snap, I almost blew up a piece of my own base. Okay, guys, so that just happened. So I, apparently you can shoot anything you want as long as you press C. Okay. And that's why I predicated my previous statement with, as far as I know. How do I switch weapons? Do I know how to switch weapons? Is there a weapon switch? There are quite a few... Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know change active quick bar was a thing either. I don't know. I don't know how you... Shotgun can't shoot a firearm magazine. I understand this. My dog is talking to me again. All right, so let's make some armor, guys. We can make armor now. Light armor. Oh, we need plates. Well, bring on the plates, bro. There you go. We can make two armors. I don't think more than one armor makes makes a difference. Bam! Check me out now. Boom, I'm rolling armor, man. I have a thousand durability on my armor? This is cool. My dog will not shut up. This is hilarious. All right, so now I have guns, I have armor, heck yeah, dude. All right, sweet. Okay, so we have our radar, which is awesome. We have all of our furnaces, we've got armor, guys. We have armor, yo. So let's just go for it, I mean, why not, right? So we're going to go for, which one is cheaper? Armor Crafting 2 is cheaper. Let's just do that. Let's just beef up the armor, man. And it has exactly what it needs. That's great. Okay, so while that has what it needs, and it's going to take a little while for it to get through that, let's automate our our science pack production here. Let's boost our ability to produce things and science packs and all the things. I'm trying to just not say uh, um, and all the brain noise and everything. That's what I call it, is brain noise. I'm just trying to, you know, I, I would rather leave a silence that I can edit out. So, just explain to you guys why I do that. If you just end up, I just stop talking. It's because I don't, I don't like brain noise. Okay, so what we're going to do is take that guy, put him right there. Take that guy and put him right there. Let's see, that's not... Well, yes, that will work because I can use, okay. I'm I'm crazy. Okay, just just believe that. I'm quite crazy actually. All right, so we're going to use a long-handed inserter and we're going to get this over here. Okay. So we're going to build a long-handed inserter. I'm going to pick that guy up and if I control click this stuff, I can get it out of there. So we've got a long-handed inserter. I'm going to need transport belts. I'm going to need those. And I will need short inserters. I'm going to need another one of these, though, I'm guessing. No. One, two, three, four of those. And I'm going to need one of those. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a long-handed inserter. Oh, wait. That's too many spaces. That's too many spaces, isn't it? And I don't have a smart inserter, do I? Okay. All right, so I'll just have to manually dump it in. I'm just going to run the copper over. I'll have to manually dump the stuff in until I fix it. So I kind of, I designed this in a non-scalable way in the beginning. But trust me, I'll fix it. All right. So I need to make more of those as well. And of course, I need more. 
more of that. All right. And some of those. And I'm going to build an underground belt there. And what we're going to do is just run this copper line right up the top. Okay. So what we have is we will have two inserters right there and right there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the copper line just like that. Cool. And then these guys obviously need power, so we can go like that. Perfect. That works for me. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these guys to... <laughs> it's my dog. Set these guys to science packs. And they'll have plenty of those. And take all of those. And we're going to give them half of that. And all of that. Okay, so now obviously they need a place to put things. My dog is crazy. I'm just going to leave all that sound in. I don't care. It's going to be funny. You're going to be like, what the heck is that noise? It's going to be sweet. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is... Oh, he's getting angry at me. That's funny. Uh, oh, oh, wait, that doesn't work. For, there we go. That works. Cool. So now we have science packs, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that lab. And we're going to make another lab. And then all I need is a short inserter there. So taking the lab is going to take a little bit to... Uh, making the lab is going to take a little bit to do. So we are, we're still working on armor crafting, guys. The, the little lab that could is still chugging away on it. It's going to be a little while. I said tried to say chugging and churning, so it's chugging. Chugging away, yes. Notable fails of uh, Rensler. Chugging. The great vocab of Rensler, right? Yeah. Okay. So now this guy is going to get a solid diet of science packs. So now the, the goal is going to be... Well, many fold. I was going to say two fold, but it's actually several fold. So one of them is making sure this guy needs to start making gears again. Well, actually, this guy, because this is an ammo producer, you're going to go back to making ammo. It's your job to make ammo. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this guy's ability to, to consume ammo. Uh, well, he's going to consume ammo, but he's he's only going to do that much right now. Okay, so this is a pretty compact design, and honestly, it's not very good. So what we're going to do is try to fix it. So what my idea is, I always have a main production line of iron and copper. I always have a whole huge uh, area of, full of furnaces that are producing plates and dumping them onto a central line, then the central line gets pulled off from using splitters. So that's what we're going to do. So automatically we have shared resources. So we'll make ourselves 13 more of those. All right. And my reasoning for this is that we always have resources left over to do something else. And unless, of course, we don't. And what that means is if my consumption of a given resource ends up exceeding my ability to produce it, that becomes apparent, and then I fix that problem. But right now, what I'd like to do is have a, have a source of plate like this, just like that, and have a... Did I make another lab? No. Have a source of plate like this, and have my copper, and have my ammo, and make it to where I can keep making plates, send them off to other places, and do other things. And as soon as I notice I'm consuming more than I'm producing, I up my production, then I up my consumption, and you just keep going back and forth. And now, what you can do is try to build through the golden ratios. I have not sorted those out yet for material production. Somebody has them somewhere. Somebody probably already built a pivot table and a calculator and everything for it. And that's really cool, and I'll probably search that for you and try to get that onto 
onto something for you guys. I'll probably try to see that in the description or something. So we'll go from there. So this guy is actually waiting on gears right now. So what I want to do is find a creative way of getting gears over to this guy. Hmm. So gear creation is actually pretty straightforward. You just have to have a an assembler and you just start dropping gears out. So what we'll do is I'm going to have the gears feed on the bottom on the outside here. So this right here will be right there. Let's see. Yes, that will work. That will work the way I think it's going to. Okay, and we'll get rid of that guy because we don't need it. We're going to make an underground belt because we're going to need that right there. What we're going to do is put... Oh, it's because there's a pole there. We're going to put this up here. There is no real good place for this, is there? All right, so we're going to make this work, guys. That's all we can do. And I don't want to overbuild, over craft things. So right now I'm just doing what I consider a minimalist strategy here. Okay. We have plenty of power on the other side. So we're going to make another one of these guys, make a couple more of these. Uh, get ourselves a bit more iron here. You you can run around and hold F to pick things up. And of course, this. Just like that. And that guy will be out like this. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to run a, a transport belt past a given inserter if you want the inserter to be at the end of the line. That's important. And we're going to make gears. Okay, now that we're making gears, we need two long-handed inserters. And we're just about done with Armor Crafting 2, and we are done with Armor Crafting 2. And what this gives me is heavy armor. So let's make some heavy armor, guys. Let's go straight to Dolph Lundgren status here. So I need, ooh, I need steel plates. Okay, so I think I have material processing. I think I did steel processing already. I think that's why I was even able to get... If we go down here, yes, okay, so I have steel processing. So that takes uh, plates and you can turn them into steel. So it, get building my heavy armor is going to be tough because I need 50 steel plates. That's expensive. That's quite a lot. Just saying, that's quite a lot. All right, so what we're going to do is put a, put a guy there. And we're going to take this guy and it's going to go... And of course it gives me flack. Okay, so now we see that our our ore production is woefully inadequate, right? I have one one of these guys trying to eat through this ore deposit here. The ore deposit's not very big anymore. As we zoom out and in. And yeah, this is crazy. Let me check something. All right, guys, so this has been a really long episode, but we did manage to do what we what we set out to do. So right now, if you look in the bottom right, I am wearing armor. We've made a machine gun, and we've made a shoddy, a nice shotgun. So uh, hopefully this, this edit comes down to like 20, 20, 25 minutes. I just saw 30 minutes on my recorder, and I was like, okay. Uh, it's because I don't have my second monitor set up. My whole desk is a mess right now. So I'm going to edit this down a little bit. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for coming back after the hiatus. And uh, I'm really stoked. We have the Pixel Punisher now. It's a super fast rig. Like I said, I'll even throw the, the specs in the description just so you know what we're working with. As always, everything is going to be in 4K and I'm going to make a really cool little blender based animation to show everything that's in 4K and all that stuff. It, it's I think it's going to be pretty cool. I have a lot of great ideas. I have a lot of, of uh, things that I want to produce for you. I have a super ultra top secret thing that I'm going to be working on. Uh, it's just an idea that I had that I wanted to do. So uh, uh, basically me and only one other person know about it. So uh, I'm going to work on that. That's going to take a while and I'm talking months and months. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys previews of what's going on with that in the next 
month after I get a lot of things started because there won't be a lot of, of really results for a long time and then that's when all the results will start coming in. It's like four to six weeks of trying and working on it and then you st really start seeing the fruit of it. So you guys have been amazing. I've been Rensler, and uh, thank you so much for guys for coming back. Factorial episode 10, Dolph Lundgren episode, and just because we can, where's here's my lab. I'm going to blow it up. Boom. Oh, look at that. You even have little little shells. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Let me pair that back. All right. All right, guys. Peace. And I want to say this to the television audience. I made my mistakes. But in all of my years of public life, I have never profited, never profited from public service. I've earned every cent.